Hey, welcome back everyone, General Tony here, your host, coming back with a brand new episode, and welcome my friends to the final few level 12 walls on our base, guys. So a couple of months ago, Supercell actually added the world's first level 12 walls into COC, and somehow, I've actually managed to nearly upgrade every single one of them. So remember, there are only 75 in the game, guys, each one costs 4 million gold or elixir, and I've done 73 so far. And what we're going to be doing in this episode, we're going to complete those walls, we're going to max out any of our buildings left, and then we're going to get ourselves into some more Legend League attacks, guys. Also, we have just hit a brand new all-time personal best. We went well above 5,600 trophies last night, almost 5,650 cups. And this Legend League push is looking really great right now. We're actually ranked, guys. Check this out. I think almost in the top 30. Yeah, we are top 30 inside of the UK. That's awesome. 5,642 trophies. Hopefully by the end of tonight, we can somehow reach about maybe 5,700. That would be awesome. So let's do this. We got 6.5 million gold, guys. 8.8 .8 million elixir. And we can actually do the final two level 12 walls. And then we're done. No more upgrades, a new update is coming into the game and hopefully it will bring so much new content that I can actually do some gem sprees on the channel and you know a variety of different farming episodes to entertain you guys, my subscribers. So check it out, let's do this guys, there goes number one and now we just have one final wall to upgrade guys, it is the finale, 4 million elixir and we're done. I cannot upgrade anymore, can I? No, you can't upgrade any more of these buildings. That's it, we're completed. Supercell, we need some more upgrades in the game. Guys, if you've made it this far into the episode and you want to see this new update land ASAP, comment down below, hashtag bring us the update, guys. Comment hashtag bring us the update. Let's see if we can get a couple of thousand comments saying that. Hopefully Supercell does release the sneak peeks shortly, maybe, you never know, this week it's only Monday. If not, fingers crossed, it will be released by next week. So let's see what else we have left to upgrade. We have got some of these air mines and air bombs currently going to the next level. I know there is an air mine hiding in my base somewhere, which isn't currently maxed out. So let's see if we can find it. That one is maxed out. That one there is maxed out. Where is the air mine hiding? Let's see, guys. Is that it there? No, where is it? We need to find this. Okay, so there it is, guys. It's going to cost 4 million gold, and I can't actually afford it. So let's get ourselves into some Legend League attacks and showcase to you some of my best attack strategies over the last 24 hours. So check this out, guys. This was actually one of my late-night attacks last night, and you wouldn't believe it. I got a 98% two-star on this base. It was unbelievable, but it did give me 11 much-needed trophies, so that was absolutely awesome. I love it when I land on bases and the air defenses are down, guys, because that allows my baby dragons to get right deep inside and do some real damage to the actual base. Now, as I said, guys, there is going to be an update coming out. Obviously, we are nearing closer and closer to it, and it's allowed me to actually pretty much max out my entire Town Hall 11 base. That means we are going to solely focus 100% on all the new content that is going to be coming into the game. Apparently, according to Galadon and loads of other Supercell-sponsored YouTubers, it is going to be a huge update, guys. So massive, massive hype coming into the next couple of weeks, into the next month, April 2017. If you are excited as I am for this update, leave a like on the video, guys, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel we will bring you every single one of the sneak peeks, big or small, as soon as they are released. And we just hit 1,400,000 subscribers. So check it out, guys. We got troops going around the left, troops going around the right. This is actually insane. Okay, so check here. We have an Archer Queen, a Grand Warden, a Bowler, and a couple of Witches. And these couple of troops with those Golems actually tear up about 30% of the base. You know what, forget what I just said guys, check out this baby dragon, look how much damage a baby dragon can do. So the baby dragon takes out the gourd storage, takes out the elixir collector, goes on to take out the other elixir collector, takes out the barrack, it then takes out the wizard tower, then it takes out so many buildings, these baby dragons really are the greatest cleanup troops in this entire game. Hands down, if you've got a baby dragon left alive at the end, they are in some serious trouble if they can't actually handle it. So check out the baby dragon cleaning up so many of those extra buildings. As I said, a 98% two star is what we actually finished on, guys. So I was super proud of that baby dragon. We're going to name him. We're going to name him Tony because he is tearing stuff up, guys. Check it out. Army camp's about to go down. The queen just takes out that Tesla tower. Baby dragon's still alive and it's literally 
Baby Dragon against Wizard Tower. There was only about 40 seconds left inside of the battle anyway. I don't think we would have actually triple star, but we came so close. Only left two buildings on the entire map. Unbelievable gameplay from the Baby Dragon. Goes on to take out the Elixir Collector, guys. Almost takes out the Wizard Tower, and that final barrack was left standing. But a 98% two-star, insane gameplay, 11 trophies. Let's make our way and show you our, uh, our most recent defense. So check this out, guys. Go into the defense log. We lost 15 trophies from a one-star, but I decided to actually change my trophy base once again, guys. The previous trophy base, it lost me like 100 trophies. We haven't won a single defense using it. So I said, you know what? Let's cut our losses and go back to the one which won me a Legend Elite defense. And that was this one. However, we have slightly altered it. I decided to put the clan castle in the center and put one of the air defenses outside. So check it out guys, he's using a mass amount of baby dragons. Now he doesn't actually have his archer queen, but I was an offer of, I think I was offering 45 trophies. He got 15 trophies from a one star. I'm guessing I was a 45 trophy offer. Huge well, I'm always a well guys. Of course we are almost at 5,700 trophies. So I'm always gonna be a well to anyone who actually comes and you know, attacks my base guys. So check it out, balloons of baby dragons. Looks pretty damn OP to me. Doing a great attack on the base so far. I really, really want to see someone fail on my base, guys. And I want to get myself, you know, a nice little amount of trophies on defense and a free shield if possible. But I don't know. It's just so hard to win a Legend League defense. I haven't won one in about two weeks now. But check this out. Baby Dragon's coming in from the right-hand side, guys. But we've got that Air Sweeper. And I think he's completely forgotten about it. And the Air Sweep is legit just going to blow all those baby dragons around the right-hand side. And they're got, not going to come anywhere near that Town Hall. Single target Inferno Tower roasts that Barbarian King. Baby dragons have all bunched up together, guys. There goes the Grand Warden's ability. But the Air Sweep are blowing those dragons further and further away from the Town Hall. They're going to connect onto the Expo. It's RIP for the baby dragons. And only a one-star loss for me, guys. Only 56%, to be honest with you. Wasn't the best attack ever. There go the final few baby dragons. And it's looking like we could possibly win some defenses using this base, guys. I'm not really too sure. What I've decided to do since that actual defense was I changed one of the Inferno Towers from single to moldy. But I think we're going to change both, guys. I reckon moldy target Inferno Towers could do a better job. Obviously, it's a bit of a risk, guys, because of heroes. But we're going to take that and see what actually happens. We will show you some more live defenses or some defenses when they actually come in bear in mind guys we've got a two hour and 14 minute guard once that's over we're gonna buy another two hour guard so that's gonna give me four hours of gameplay hopefully we can get somewhere close to 5700 trophies by then although i very much doubt it currently during the day it takes i don't know somewhere in the region of three to four hours just to find a single base but at night time you find bases a lot quicker i'm not sure why that is guys but it's it's awesome so check this out guys, we actually managed to 3 star a Town Hall 11, however he didn't have an Eagle Artillery, I think he's a really new Town Hall 11, or he's trying to engineer a base because he does have a level 43 Queen, so that's interesting. Baby Dragon's gonna go down on the right hand side and that is simply there to create a funnel to ensure my Witches and my Bowlers all go into the center of the base. Another Baby Dragon's gonna get dropped down on that Dark Barrack and that's gonna allow the perfect funnel. All troops should head into the center, and we don't even have to use our jump spell, guys. So check it out. Baby Dragon goes down. Going to take out three or four of those buildings on the right-hand side, and that, as I said, is to ensure the funnel. Check it out. Raged Up Baby Dragon doing absolute work over there on that gold collector. There it goes. And now we can start the main attack, guys. So a golem inside of the CC plus an additional golem in my army camp. Bowlers on a little bit of a wide spread just to ensure the funnel is there, guys. Witches go down just behind. Bowlers on the left hand side going to take out that gold storage and we have guaranteed ourselves access into the core. First rage spell goes down guys. There goes the Grand Warden's ability making sure that balloon doesn't do mass damage to my troops. Another rage spell goes down in the center. Troops have made it all the way into the center already taking out both Inferno Towers. Jump spell goes down Barbarian King and Bowlers making their way up the top part of the base there. Now on bases like this you don't want to attack from areas where you know there's going to be giant big bombs guys you want to kind of avoid them and go around the actual base and that is exactly what we done check that out we avoided all those giant big bombs 
queen and a golem go down the bottom. Still got a baby dragon on the right hand side. And it's looking like a really easy three star. In fact, we have so many troops alive, including all three heroes, that even if he had maxed out defenses, to be honest, we still would have three star this dude. There was no way he was escaping. The perfect funnel allowed me to completely wreck his base. Check it out, the final few buildings about to go down, 96%, so many skeletons and witches alive, the three heroes and a couple of bowlers, perfect execution, and there goes the final building guys, that Dark Elixir Spell Factory, and that secured me a poor 8 measly trophies, only 8 cups, but you know what, currently sitting really high, so I will take every trophy I can, so that's going to take us right now guys to a live record of... 5,642 trophies, only 6 off my all-time personal best. As I said, we did lose 15 on defense, and then I won, I think, 9 on attack, guys. So that kind of balanced that out a little bit. So what we're going to do over the next couple of hours, we are going to continue to push to 5,700. Hopefully, we can hit 5,700 by the time I go to sleep tonight, guys. And that's going to leave us with a total of 13 days, 12 hours left in the season. Now there is going to be a second episode coming in a couple of hours time. It is going to be on Captain Tony and we are finally going to make that brand new clan. So stay tuned for that. Have a great day guys. Leave a like on the episode. Subscribe to the channel. I'll see you shortly. Peace out.